Hey, what's up guys? It's Azai here, and today I've got some really crazy Dagon gameplay for you guys. This robot is just insane. Uh, so it just released today, and Pixonic has went ahead and sent the creators their uh, Dagons, and this is equipped with uh, three of each of the new weapon. I believe it's three Tricksters and three Tamers. And as you're seeing in the gameplay here, it is just crazy. I mean, you basically shoot anybody and their whole health just turns into DOT and then they just kind of, they can't heal and they'll just die. I mean, it's, it's actually ridiculous. You also basically always have a quantum radar. I was saying in the comments of my drone video talking about Seeker that I really hope that they would nerf it a little bit and make it like, you know, have a shorter range for the stealth and stuff, but no, they actually buffed it. They buffed it after they, they took it off the test server. So it has 350 meters anti-stealth, which is basically just you always have anti-stealth active if you have a seeker. And then, of course, you have all those crazy other abilities. I mean, like, you've got a, what, what's it called? you got the counter suppression and the counter blind from far away. It's just ridiculous. This robot is just ridiculous. And yeah, so, I mean, I basically just... Kind of, I didn't die this game. I just kind of went around and murdered everything. Another thing that's just like actually wild about this robot is how easily you could charge motherships. You'll see me like when I'm fighting the Titans, especially it's especially clear. But even with the robots, like I barely even shot, and I already have a whole mothership ready. So yeah, this is this is just crazy. Uh, again here, so this Seraph has landed. I mean, he doesn't even have protection. What is he going to do against the DOT? Force field does not work against that. Uh, and even Ocho Kochi isn't really going to be able to survive. And you see all of these dead robots here in the center because I was just kind of camping there and shooting anybody who came out. I also really recommend to use a shield breaker on Dagon. Um, Dagon is weak to people with shield breaker somewhat. I mean, he's not really weak to crisis, I guess, because he will get blinded if he shoots you. Um, but... If they have shields, you need to have a shield breaker because these guns, they don't do any direct damage. They basically, it's just DOT and, and rust and you're killing them with DOT. So what you'll see is if somebody has like an Aegis shield, you will hardly be able to hurt them. So you're gonna definitely need to run shield breaker on this. And also interestingly, since these guns basically don't do really any direct damage, you don't really need to run nuclear amplifier. I always run nuclear amplifier on all of my robots Except Dagon, I, I don't, you, there's really no good reason to run Nuclear Amplifier because it won't increase the damage of the DOT. Uh, so I actually just put a last stand and two repair amps on here. You can also run those fortifiers, but I don't have any of them leveled up. But here, this is what I was talking about. You see, I don't have my thing. It's on cooldown and you can't even like destroy his shield. Also, if you look to the left there, you'll see 14 uh, strikes. Uh, well, first, hold on, I just need to commentate on this. Look at that, just like half an ether's durability. Then we're just gonna reload here and then just finish them off with the Newton there. Um, but yeah, now I have 16. Uh, yeah, you can charge motherships so ridiculously fast with this damn robot because it has six guns and a lot of mothership charge depends on the amount of bullets you're shooting. So since you're shooting so many bullets because you have six guns, you're charging even faster than like a behemoth or, or something would. And so, as you're seeing here, I'm just constantly able to get durability extenders to the point where I'm actually pretty sure I currently, this, this tiny amount of durability that I have left on my health bar is more than I spawned in with because you could just keep durability extending yourself. It's actually ridiculous. And on top of that, since I'm using the roulette, I get double durability extender and also I can do the rust DOT field. So now I'm just kind of giving everybody rust and dot nobody nobody's gonna survive for even like a half second if you're far away from me you're gonna get that mothership and if you're close to me you're gonna get the guns and yeah these guns they are literally just a the, the rust ship like on steroids um i mean you can basically just shoot an entire roulette at your enemies it's basically what you're doing you're seeing here like this this luchador and stuff uh he's not going to be able to heal himself here i think uh, mostly my teammate takes him out with these lasers but here like this luchador it's gonna be a really good explanation showing also like i'm at 60 percent mothership i shoot him and before i even finish my clip i got the full mothership and also look how little health he has and he's sitting there he's doing his little luchador ability and he just can't heal back he's just gonna die now so yeah, this, this robot is just actually crazy. It's crazy. I don't know if I would say that this is as good as Ocho Kochi, but it is certainly a extremely good robot. I mean, I, I don't, I, I've only fought one Ocho Kochi with it. 
uh, or two maybe. I think I died once and I won once, but I guess we'll have to see. I'll do some short videos on it, and uh, I guess we'll see more later. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think about this ridiculous robot, and I'll catch you in the next one.